hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to see the data analyst portfolio project overview and in front of your screen we can see this will be our final output and in this we are going to design two dashboards okay so this is the first dashboard and this will be our second dashboard so if you can see in front of your screen i have used a different chart different elements to design this report and in this report we are also going to make use of ms sql server database so we have a problem statement which is given uh, to us by our client and we are going to design this project in two softwares that is one is sql and one is power bi so in sql with our problem statements we are going to fire some sql queries and we will be generating our result creating a document saving our queries saving our output in an word document and later on then we will be building this dashboard in power bi and we will be comparing the power bi results with sql results so that we will have a base that this particular report whatever we are showing in our power bi whatever numbers or charts we are showing we have a validation that yeah we have a sql queries fired and this data we are showing is perfectly correct okay so in front of your screen i will uh, explain you different elements what this particular dashboard explains and then i will also show you how we are going to fire the sql queries the data which we are going to use is i will add the link in the description box also and uh, whatever we are going to we are going to use the advanced functionalities of dax then we are going to fire some uh, complex sql queries and we will see the explanation of each and every query each and every function whichever we are going to use all right so uh, we are in this project we are going to use a database as an ms sql server we are going to connect our power bi with ms sql server if you don't have ms sql server you can directly go and use a flat file connection that is csv or text file and uh, we are also going to see each and every step in ms sql server how we are firing the queries and whatever queries i will be using those same queries you can use in any database which you are using let it be ms sql server or mysql or oracle or python or sorry not python or postgres database so you can use these queries in any of the database whichever you want okay so let we are coming back to our dashboard i will give you an overview you can see this particular dashboard is completely dynamic so first i will explain all the elements here so first at the top here you can see this is our uh, the kpi card and this card is the new card as per our latest update so i'm using uh, this particular dashboard or the, the elements or the charts which we are going to use so i'm using a latest update new card visual to design this particular kpis over here so this will be a great learning for you again so whatever new is coming in power bi okay then uh, this is the kpis we can see total revenue average order value pizza sold total total orders and average pizzas per order all right then we have to find the trends that is first is the daily trend and next is the monthly trend to find out the patterns of uh, you know the different purchases of pizzas or volumes uh, which 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 days and which month the volume is higher right and at uh, the end we can see there are two pie charts which gives us the percentage of sales by pizza category and the second is the pizza size so which is the best selling category which is the best selling pizza so you will get an idea from that okay and last we have the total pizza sold that is total quantity sold by pizza category okay so it will give us an idea which type of pizza is you know the best seller and which which is contributing to maximum quantities okay so and at the left hand side panel you can see i have added two boxes where there are some text mentioned so it is nothing but uh, we are giving an insight to our customer a brief insight from this particular chart that you can see on uh, friday and saturday the orders are highest than in june uh, sorry in july and august the orders are highest than which category is performing best in terms of sales and quantities okay so this is an overall dashboard and this dashboard is completely dynamic right now which is operated by using these two filters or slicers we can see so the first is pizza category and let's say if you want to see for any of the category you can see they are changing their values with respect to that and we are getting and you know uh, we can say more granular result at different levels all right similarly we have a date filter a date slider we can say where you can add a start date and end date and if you want to see the result for particular month or for particular quarter 
or range of months so from that you can go ahead and see let's say i'm using this slider and you want to see the result between these two particular dates and you can you know go ahead and see the results here as well okay so this is also a good catch over here that we are going to give some multiple filters to our client and with apart from this we are also using here interactive filters guys so whatever see if you if i want to see on friday how what is the data so you can see when i click on friday the values will be changing and we will be getting an you know uh, insights with respect to this particular day if you want to see it for sunday you will get for sunday similarly if you want to see with pizza size let's say you want to see it for medium pizza so when i click it you can see the data is changing with respect to that and you can take an insight from there let's say we want to see for chicken category here also it is changing with respect to that all right so in this way we are going to use multiple filters in our dashboard so at different different angles the insights can be taken and the business decision can be done all right so this was all about the first the dashboard so i will explain you second dashboard so we have a button over here which are used to navigate between the dashboard so when i click on this button so it will take me to the second dashboard that is the best and worst sellers okay so here coming back to the elements onto this dashboard so the kpi will be same because the kpi is giving us the overall business idea and in this we are going to find out the top five that is the best sellers and the bottom five that are the worst seller pizzas so and we are going to find out it with respect to three measures first is revenue quantity and total orders right and with respect to that we are going to find which is the best performing pizza and which is which is the worst performing pizza and with respect to that the client can take the different business decisions he can give some discounts okay he can increase some of the rates of his uh, what we can say pizzas because you know those are best sellers so some amount if they are increasing or some discounts if they are giving in specific season so it will be a good revenue for him all right and at the end at this particular end you can see at the left side we are again giving some insights with respect to all these three measures how the pizzas are performing and all that and in similar way we are also adding here a filters you can say when i am operating this filter the values will be changing with respect to that and uh, you know a uh, customer can again see at different level of granularity here all right so this is this is you can see uh, one sec so you can see whenever i am operating this filter you are getting the different values all right so in this way we have done this particular in power bi we will be also doing firing some sql queries in sql so if i show you so in this particular you can see here we are going to fire some sql queries in ms sql server database and we will be generating some results and we will be using these results to validate our data so each and everything which is present on the dashboard of power bi we will be first generating the results in sql queries whatever problem statement we are going to have and we are going to validate it with respect to our power bi and we are comparing the results if the results are matching we will go ahead and then submit our dashboard to our client okay so in this we are going to see complete i will provide you the raw data i will provide you the uh, the sql queries which you are going to use i am going to provide you the document which you are going to use the complete video of this and uh, you can see uh, around 3 hours or 3.5 hours of video i will provide you and if you are interested you can reach me out to my contact number the whatsapp number if you want to uh, you know if you want this complete uh, video now uh, you can reach out to me through my email or my whatsapp number which will be mentioned in the description of this particular video i hope you will be liking this video see you in the next one thank you guys bye bye